the sheet bend. This knot is the most commonly used knot to join two pieces of rope. Take the working part of the first rope and form a loop. The working end of the other rope comes through the back of the loop, round, and then under itself. Like that. And there is the sheet bend. If the ropes are of different thickness, we use a double sheet bend. Form the initial loop with the thicker piece of rope. Make the sheet bend as normal, up through the back, round, tuck under itself, and take it round and tuck it under again. And there's the double sheet bend. You'll notice with a normal sheet bend that one of the pieces of rope sticks out and this could get snagged. We get around this by using the tuck sheet bend. What we do here is you form the sheet bend as normal, but then you take the working end under itself one more time, just tuck it under there. So now you can see that both ends of the sheet bend are facing the same direction and there's nothing to get snagged. There's a slipped version of the sheet bend for quick release. You form the sheet bend as normal, but then instead of tucking the working end under itself, you form a bite and tuck that under instead. So there's the slipped sheet bend, and as normal, it can be fairly quickly released by pulling on the loose end. The Carrick Bend. We'll make a crossing turn in the working end of the first rope. Then we take the working end of the second rope and we weave it up and down like this. Go right under the standing part, over the working end, then under the crossing turn over its own standing part and then onto the crossing turn again. So you can see it goes over, under, over, under, over, and under, over, under. That's a nice fairly symmetrical pattern. And then you pull it together like that. And there's the carry bend. Rigger's bend also known as hunter's bend. This is useful for joining slippery ropes together. We lay the two working ends together side by side, but facing opposite directions. Then we form a crossing turn and tuck the working ends through the crossing turn in opposite directions. There is the Rigger's Bend. Ashley's Bend. This knot is useful because it's secure, but it can be easily untied. We take the first rope and make a crossing turn with the standing part on top of the working end, like that. Then you form an identical crossing turn with the second rope, but interlink it with the first, like that and the working end of the second rope goes over the standing part of the first. And then simply hold both crossing turns together, both working ends together, and push them through. Like that. And once you've pulled on the two working ends together, you can separate standing part and pull them. And that's Ashley's Bend. 
Fisherman's Knot. This is a simple yet effective knot wherein each rope is tied to the other with an overhand knot. So we'll tie the first one there and then we'll tie the second one like that. And then you pull on the standing parts, the knots slide together and we have the Fisherman's Knot.